Dear friends, do you know what day it is? It is the happy day of the Valentine. You mean Valentine's Day? Yes, a wonderful holiday filled with the flowers and the candy. And don't forget about love. <sighs> so romantic. Oh, tonight we shall have a dance at which we will all share our true feelings. Huh, I didn't realize that today's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Starfire, will you be my Valentine? Of course. We should all have the Valentines, then. Already got a secret Valentine. <laughs> Someday, baby. Someday. May I have this dance? Go! Oh! What's the matter with you? Step away from the prisoner. I have one last Valentine's gift for you, Robin. Oh, no, please don't. I can't. <laughs> now is the time we share how we feel about our Valentines. Robin, you are like the brother to me. And Jinx, I just wanted to. Ah! Ow! She's all tied up! Ow! Why? Step away from the prisoner. Bandages! We need more bandages! Don't worry, I got you, Beastie. You're lucky your animal superpowers are keeping your arm alive. So gross. While we figure out how to reattach it, this should help you. Hey, it's going to be okay, Beast Boy. I know. Don't let this bum you out. It won't. Are you not upset with the loss of your appendage? Nope, now I have this sweet robot arm to go with my manly scar. <gasps> okay, that Amazing. is the coolest thing I've ever seen. So hot. What was that, Ray Ray? Nothing. <laughs> robot arms are tough and all, but losing body parts is not a good thing. It worked out for you. Maybe Cyborg's right. We'll work to reattach. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Beast Boy, you are not laughing? Beast Boy might have thought that was funny, but I'm a man now. Scar Man. Scar Man. Whoa. Titans, we are here today to discuss Cyborg's crush on Jinx. Starfire, if you would. <clears throat> Chapter 4, Article 7 of the Official Superhero Charter of Conduct states, No superhero shall take romantic interest in a villain. It does not say that. Anymore. Cyborg. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. Finally. I'm pretending to have a crush on her, to lull her into a false sense of confidence. Have you been eating the bologna again? In fact, I'm going to take her down right now. She's at a coffee shop as we speak. And how do you know that? I know everything about her. Her favorite color, the type of music she listens to, everything. Because she's my enemy. I mean, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me. Oh, how do I look? You are hooked up to my patent-pending lie detector machine, so I'll know if you're lying. Now, did you steal my sandwich? I did not. I was doing the handstands, and before that I had the toast from France for breakfast, and before that I was asleep, and before that I read the book, and before that I brushed each of my tooths. Yeah, okay, okay, I've heard enough. One last question. Do you love me? Yes? Did you just lie to me? Yes. I did not wish to hurt the feelings. <sighs> I see. Could you learn to love me? No. Very well. Is there any circumstance where... No. Thank you for your time. Are you sure? No. What? We had a date. I never said yes. Yet here you are. Uh, you're standing right on that turtle's eyeball. He'll be fine. They're very resilient. Seriously, you're always standing on sea creatures. You don't need to be nervous. I'm not nervous. 
You just don't know what you're getting into with me. I have a dark side. I heard. Can I show you something? Ew, back it up. Relax. Oh, thanks. So, what did you want to show me? This. So what? I'm supposed to fall for you because you show me some dancing fish? Oh, look, they're so adorable. It's like a musical is about to break out. So romantic, I have to kiss your face. Uh... Just wait. That was... Intense. Circle of life, baby. I thought you'd like it. I can't believe this, but for the first time, I feel like someone gets me. You should wear your hood down more often. Thanks. Well, I better, uh... Yeah. What? Lay off my girl is what? Raven wants someone who can match her intensity. I can be intense. Intensity! I need a nap! Well, just, just lay off my girl, okay? You guys said she was crazy about Beast Boy, but you didn't tell me she was cuckoo, cuckoo. The villain world is going to pay a lot for what I've uncovered here. Peace out, Titans. Tara? What's going on? Uh, um... You're leaving without telling me, aren't you? <sighs> Sorry. Uh, things are just getting too intense between us. Beast Boy, wait! Just want to tell you, go get her, Tiger. Don't leave Tara! <laughs> You can't tell me you don't feel anything for me. You want to know how I really feel? Fine. As our Athmetrion to another dimension. You're welcome. But she was just about to tell me how she felt. Looks like somebody's a little jealous. The truth is I would never devote a moment of my precious time to the pursuit of something as stupid as whistling. Never, never, never. Perhaps I can teach you the whistle, Robin. I'm in. <gasps> this is the perfect environment for the whistling. No distractions, plenty of air, now observe. So beautiful. That hair. Those eyes. What a fascinating way to describe the whistle. Did it have the full lips as well? Uh huh, uh huh. Now it is your turn. Simply control a stream of air by pressing your lips together. Like this? Mm. Mm. No, like this. <laughs> you can whistle, Robin. I believe in you. Yes, let a mighty wind blow through your mouth hole, Robin. <gasps> Wonderful first effort. <gasps> ah, well, you're a great teacher. Are you following me? No, 
I'm tracking you. Also, I got you this. Blueberry pie. My favorite. I know. That's creepy. I know. <laughs> but in a romantic way. Does this mean we're... I'd like that. If any of the other Titans found out. If any of the Hive found out. Then we'll just have to... keep it a secret. Yo, Rave, guess what? Tara's making me a special Valentine's surprise, and from the looks of it, it's gonna be big, shiny, and probably radioactive. Ooh. She doesn't like you, Beast Boy. She's planning on destroying us all. Hmm. Sounds like someone's bum she's not gonna get to slow dance with me tonight. Ugh. Here, look. I've been using my magic to watch her every move. No. My little gift to Beast Boy, the power amplifier, is finally complete. Man, you just ruined my surprise. Shh. Now he'll learn just how much I care for him. See? Care to crush him! She doesn't really mean that. I hate Beast Boy! <laughs> what a jokester she is. Hate! She gets grumpy when she hasn't eaten. Hate, 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 hate! I tried to warn you. You okay? <laughs> What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. It's her. She's an awful person. No. There's a good side to her, Rave. I know it. I'm just not good enough for her. You know, there's another girl out there who I bet likes you. If she's out there, why hasn't she told me? Oh, no! <laughs> we just split Raven into four versions of herself! Actually, there are five Ravens now. Are you sure? Because... Go ahead, Beast Boy. We'll wait. <sighs> Zero, one, two... You don't start at zero when you count. Really? Huh. And five it is. Oh, no! We just split Raven into five versions of herself. You okay, Raven? I told you not to mess around with that thing. Ow! Free! Free! I'm free! I don't like it here. What's not to like? Mm. Uh. I created a computer program that analyzes all of your personality traits and matches them with your ideal superhero mate. And why would you waste your time with that? Because Robin wants to prove he's a perfect match for Star. Ow. Ahem. Okay, let's get started. Are we sure it is wise to let the machine decide who we love? And, and Starfire's ideal match is... Please be me, 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 please be me. Aquaman! Aqua... What? I... Guess why? I see... That's me! What? Take her down, will ya? I'm gonna give her a monster bear hug. That is not the bear hug. Uh, I guess it's time to bring out the big guns. Flowers. She has really bad allergies. Oh! Great, she's going to get away. No, she's not gonna get away. Yeah, she got away. You let her go on purpose. 
He will not leave you alone, will he? No. Ever since Cyborg's computer matched us, he's convinced we're meant to be together. And you are not? Of course not. I want someone who thinks and acts like me. Hey, Raven. Hey, Starfire. Look, I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. Oh, come on! Just give me a chance, please. Pretty please with scary things on top. Look, I painted my fingernails black for you, Raven. Yo, girl, have you been using the power of telepathy again? I don't have the power of telepathy. Because you've been on my mind all day. Why aren't you wearing sunglasses indoors? I have to wear them because our future is so bright together, Mama. Ow! So, you and the old king of the sea. Who would have thunk it, huh? I give no credence to your machine, but I admit Aquaman does possess many admirable qualities. And he's quite fit. <laughs> you know who else is fit? What am I looking at? It's like I can see everything! You are not wearing the shirt. Or the pants. Yep, just got back from the pool. Swam about 200 laps, no biggie. I have never seen anything so pale before. All the reflection is making me blind. I'm going blind. I must go feed the Silky now. Well, before you go, the exits to the room are uh, there and there. Ooh, did I step in gum? Look at that calf. You can cut diamonds. I've never been so uncomfortable in my life. Let me out. Let me out of here. Ah! Hey, Star, nice mask. It is not supposed to be nice. It is supposed to be menacing. Oh, well, it really brings out your eyes. Are you ready to spend all your time and energy relentlessly pursuing me, only to be frustrated at every turn? Oh, that sounds super creepy. <laughs> I'd never do that. <laughs> no. Go away. Raven, it takes two to make a relationship work. We don't have a relationship. Give it up. I have never given up on anything in my life, and I am not giving up on us. What are you talking about? You give up all the time. I give up. Ah, so sweet. Look at how excited he is to see you. <coughs> Come here, little man. It's time for your bottle. I do not want a... What's all this? Ha! Ah, you all like, my man forgot Valentine's Day. No way, Jose! I got something super special planned. You do? You know it. It's Valentine's time! What is this, cyborg? We're celebrating Valentine's Day the best way possible. In a classroom environment, baby! Ha ha ha! Valentine's Day! Woo! Mr. Cyborg? Yes, Star? May we pass out the cards now? Does everyone have their folded paper envelopes taped to their desk? I sure do. I spent all night on this. Then let's hand out our Valentines. Wait, you got everyone the same cards? Of course. But today is supposed to be our day. You don't want to hurt someone's feelings, do you? Wait, you didn't get cards for everyone? No. You didn't get me a card? I just got one for my husband. Ah! <laughs> I feel so alone. It's okay, buddy. It doesn't mean she doesn't love you. I don't love him. I only love you. Are you trying to ruin his Valentine's Day? Unbelievable. Honey, wait. Oh! My first stakeout was a great success. You know, it's funny. I brought you out here tonight to trick you into kissing me. What? But instead, I learned a lesson. It took your Jeff disguise and the smell of rancid corn chowder for me to realize it. But besides being kind, sweet, and the love of my life, 
You are a great detective. You tracked Dr. Light to his lair using all three rules to a classic stakeout. I'm proud of you. I could not have done it without your guidance partner, Robin. Yes? New rule! You do not mess with a jack! So, Mama, wanna check out those skeletons now? I said, to the death. Uh, no, no I should've gone for the throat! <laughs> Still, that was pretty intense, you little goblin. Look who is paying us the Valentine's Day visit. Ah, uh, how cute, Star. You're really getting into... Ow! It's shooting me! Ah! It's shooting me! Whose baby is that? It is not a baby. It is the Cupid. <laughs> It's Aqualad. Yeah, it's me. Miss me, Raven? The, uh... What? Dating my other girl now? Oh, it's on. I will chew you up again, bro. Relax, you little goblin. That's all in the past. Ooh, that is so the romantic. You two have nothing in common. Yeah, he's about water, she's about rocks. He's a hero, she's a villain. He's a boy, she's a girl. Nothing in common! When you rejected me, I was heartbroken. But seeing you now, sad, alone, and single, I know I dodged a bullet. Whoa, okay. I am not single. Uh, Beast Boy and I are dating. Really? Really? The really? That's cool. Oh, my. <laughs> I think I ordered too much spaghetti. I might need some help, Star. This place is so romantic. Wow! Thanks for the lift, handsome gondola man. Mm -hmm. That must be the flower. If you wish to pick me, you must answer one question. You mean a riddle? Cool! Riddle me up! Does this color look good on my petals? Is that the riddle? Sure, it looks fine. Let's go. What? I said you look fine. <laughs> wow, I'm just saying it doesn't matter. No one cares what you look like. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm sorry. I wasn't being thoughtful. Your petals are perfect. You think so? I do. The color really complements your stem. Mm, you noticed. And don't think I didn't see that new stamen. <laughs> I got them on sale. Could have fooled me. You look like a million bucks. You are worthy. Pick me and let us bring joy to your loved one. Blood out! Your uh, makeup looks great today. Yeah, really? Thanks. You're a beautiful young lady. Wow, you um look nice. And I am enjoying the color of your yes, clothes. Your nails or, are nice. uh -huh. Wow, like your look at your hair. Feet. They're so cute. You're so hairy. Oh, I love your eyes. Thank you. And like your cloak you. matches your hair you. perfectly. I like you a lot. Why, thank friends. you. Yeah, like more than friends. Maybe we should hug or kiss like, sometime. Yeah, and go around. Mwah! 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 I'll eat you up. Yum. I more than like being with you. Oh, so sorry. It's hard to contain our love. By the way, I ordered for the table. Ooh, I love calamari. I know what you're doing, and I love it. There you are, Valentine. Ah, no more arrows! No, no. I merely wish to exchange the hearts proclaiming messages of love. Candy hearts? Oh, okay, that sounds harmless. <laughs> Where did you get this heart? That is of no importance, Robin. Did it just move? I am sorry, but I could not carve a message into it. Oh, no! Robin, stop! Dude, Beast Boy is in there! 
Ah! Robin? Ah! Come on. I never get to use this thing. Ah! <sighs> Out of fuel. What were you saying? Beast Boy is in there getting all changey and stuff. It must be part of the life cycle triggered by his animal DNA. I wonder what friend Beast Boy will look like when he emerges. <laughs> Take me away, my man insect prince. What was that, Raven? Uh, nothing. I know everything about her. Her favorite color, the type of music she listens to, everything. Because she's my enemy? I mean, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me. Oh, how do I look? Are you following me? No, I'm tracking you. Also, I got you this. Blueberry pie. My favorite. I know. That's creepy. I know. <laughs> but in a romantic way. So I, uh, got you some stuff, cause I love you and everything. Girl, you're so amazing, girl, you're so amazing, yeah. Like a suit that's tailor-made. Baby, I could wear you every day. All I want is you. <laughs> okay, wrap it up, lovebirds. Friends, you have repaired your romance. Yeah, we did. And all it took was a little thought, effort, and sacrifice. So, uh, what were we talking about? I don't remember. Cyborg! What are you doing? Nothing. Just third wheeling around town. You know me. Ruining any chance for romance. Sounds like fun! Uh. Woo! I have the joy! That was the most enjoyable of videos. Another, please.